He once said, an equation has no meaning for me unless it expresses a thought of God. A completely self-made individual with almost no mathematical training. And today, today he is revered as one of the greatest mathematical geniuses of the 20th century. Ramanujan had a passion, but Ramanujan had a passion for mathematics. He concentrated on work, work and work. And the whole world came to him. Would you believe me if I told you that this is the house of Ramanujan? One day at school, uh, Ramanujan's teacher pointed out that anything divided by itself is one. Take four fruits, divide it among four people, you get one. Each one will get one. Divide a thousand fruits among thousand people, each one will get one. Ramanujan suddenly came up with a nice question. If you divide no fruits among no people, will still each get one? I mean, like zero, when it divided by zero, will the answer still be one? Ramanujan lost everything he had. Scholarship in school, work as a tutor, but he had everything. Because between him and his notebooks, which were crammed with theorems, he had everything he needed to carry on his day-to-day -day life. And these notebooks of his grew thicker and thicker with each passing week. This, this was also Ramanujan, trying to establish himself without his knowledge. He was simply a prophet that had the message, the word encoded in his chromosomes and his genes. Ramanujan's belief was purely about numbers and their mathematical relationships, which provided him with clues showing him how the universe fits together and every new theorem was a newborn entity for him. Ramanujan was trying to comprehend the infinite reality around him and trying to point out that our existence is nothing but a human life is nothing but a zero. I take Ramanujan as a person whose creation was due to some supreme entity. January 16th, 1930. Ramanujan writes a letter to another senior Cambridge mathematician, G. H. Hardy. So on March 17th, 1914, the SS Nevesa slipped slowly away into the tropical waters of the Bay of Bengal. Destination, England. Ramanujan would make his way across the great courts of Trinity College with some difficulty wearing his slippers. English were having some problem pronouncing his name correctly. And they would say, um, Ramanujan? Ramanujan's life should be a role model for all young children pursuing any aspect of study. Mathematics, mathematics the highest plane was enchanting to these two brains, to, to these great brains. He believed that God and infinity were the same thing, with zero not very far. Behind. 